we know how frustrating it can be when something goes wrong with your diesel engine. And we know how important it is to you to have your problem fixed as soon as possible. So, it can be tempting at times to do with the quickest or least expensive fix just to get your engine running again. But that might not be the best long-term solution for your time or your wallet. In your diesel engine, many different components might be the root of your trouble, including your connecting rods. When you do repairs on your engine, it's important that you replace all affected parts to prevent future problems from the same failure. You don't want to have to pay for the same repair twice. Proper diagnosis is critical to getting your engine fixed the right way and saving you time and money later on. Today, we're focusing on what can happen if not everything is replaced as it should during an overhaul, specifically your connecting rods. Before we get into today's video, if you're looking to keep your diesel engine running at peak performance on the road, be sure to hit the subscribe button and your search for answers and engine components with our industry-leading technical service and parts featured here at HHP. Also, be sure to check out highwayandheavyparts.com for our online resource library offering additional help for all major heavy-duty makes and models. Hit subscribe, get informed, get back on the road with America's trusted diesel engine parts supplier. Poor lubrication can lead to all kinds of trouble in your diesel engine. Your cylinder kit is no exception. A lack of lubrication can lead to a spun connecting rod bearing and other problems within your cylinder kit. We've seen this in some failures where the lower part of the connecting rod that holds the rod bearing has not been drilled for an oil feed hole to the piston pin. Current recommendations call for a drilled connecting rod. Because this kind of connecting rod was not present, we know that the connecting rod wasn't updated when the engine was overhauled and that lack of lubrication it caused likely to lead to the rod bearing failure. Ensuring that your engine is properly lubricated is obviously important, but it's not the only thing you should do to prevent this kind of failure. When you're doing an overhaul, make sure you're replacing and updating all the recommended parts to help prevent failures down the road. While it's tempting to do the bare minimum to get your engine back up and running, this isn't always the best choice. It might take a little bit more time up front but you'll be helping to prevent further downtime and cost when you run into problems later on. When you're looking to replace all the right parts during a rebuild, it helps to have the right kit. There are a lot of options when it comes to buying rebuild kits and it can be hard to know where to start. Highway and Heavy Parts can help you choose the kit that fits your engine best and make sure you're getting any related components you need to get the job done the first time. Our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts for our customers. So, if you're looking for affordable, OEM quality diesel engine parts with expert advice on the other end of the line, we're here to help. If you have any questions, you can call any of our ASC certified technicians at 844-447-1453. Or you can chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube, Facebook, and all our additional social media channels to stay up to date on all news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we will be there.